hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi my name is Doreen and in today's video as you can tell from the title I'm going to be talking about how I grew to 10,000 followers in three months and a quick disclaimer if you're looking for one of those videos where they're going to tell you use 10 hashtags use this do this to your pictures post by this time this is not that kind of video there are like 1 million of those on the internet already you can go watch them I personally have nothing to say when it comes to strategy like post by this time and stuff like that i'm just going to be sharing how god ordained mine and my personal story and it's just going to serve as a story time and a bit of encouragement to someone out there and encouragement to me myself because i feel like i need a story right now okay i need it i need a story by myself so yeah if you're interested then definitely keep on watching oh. Alright, so to understand the full context and the full picture, I suggest you watch the video I made about how I left Instagram for 10 months, 8 months, I can't even remember. But I'm going to link it here. If you haven't seen that video, see that video, just pause this one, go see that one and then come back and continue from here because it's like, it's going to just flow if you watch that video. But if you watch that video, then yeah, let's just continue the story, right? So as, you're, as I already said in that video, um, 2021 was a year where God actually like put me off like socials and guys for a very long time, like I said, I said in that video that I've always been that person that has the spotlight on her, like eyes on me kind of situation. Even when I wasn't a content creator, I've always been a popular kid. I've always been pretty influential. I won't even like, and I, I'm not even trying to be proud or anything. It's just the facts. I've always been that person, right? So for the first time ever, I was away from that social um media kind of influence okay and um yeah like i said in that video i fought it for a very long time until i got to a point where i started to enjoy and just rest in it and then at the time i already joined the church i already told you guys i'm a celebration church member and there's a camp meeting we do every year it's called reboot camp and this was going to be my first one in person i mean i listened to messages from previous one but this was going to be my first experience of reboot camp and i've always heard so many testimonies of how like people's lives change how they receive prophecies i was learning a lot about spiritual giftings prophecies how god leads us about so many things and i was really really excited and i had so many expectations and one of the biggest expectations i had for the reboot camp meeting was god i just want to know what you have me do next year like 2021 was such a year where like things were just hitting me bass boots. I had no idea like what was coming. I thought at the beginning of 2021, I thought this was going to be my year where I work with brands, where I grow, where I do this, where I that. And it was nothing like that at the end of the day, right? 2021 became a year of rest, growing, training, of like setting a, setting the foundation for a lot of things. That's what 2021 was. And I didn't know, right? I really, really want to have an idea, like the template you want me to live by. If you have me still stay off Instagram, I won't even try to go and say, let me go back or anything. I'll just stay here. I already started making a plan for how I would volunteer here and learn this, all the skills I'll learn, how, how I plan to like enjoy my life off social media. Because like I said, I was already beginning to enjoy it. Just the stress of not being on there, not caring about numbers, no eyes on me, no pressure. Like, I was really beginning to enjoy it, right? So, um, this was, I think, in November, while we were preparing for the meeting, um, you have to pray before all these special meetings, just so that um, you are more alert and, yeah, you are, you are spiritually prepared to receive everything that God will give you, right? And so, the rebel camp finally came and on day two i think it was day two yeah day two morning we had this six hour prayer stretch guys six hours of praying in my life like in my entire whole life i have never ever 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 prayed for that long <laughs> i have never prayed i have never prayed three hours before i've never have never been in a place where there was prayer for three hours and i actually participated before I didn't think I had been. So now imagine six hours of what? Six hours prayer stretch? So it really stretched me. I won't lie, it pushed me a lot because it was something I wasn't used to. But then I, I just knew that it was going to be good for my spirit. It was going to be good. It was going to change my life, right? And I remember that first day, that morning, that six hour prayer day. 
towards the end or maybe around hour four <laughs> i was already beginning to get tired at this point so i sat on the floor i was listening to my playlist that i had created and i don't know if you pray a lot you kind of understand this but i was praying very softly you know you know when you start out praying i'm not really into it i just compassion small 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 and then all of a sudden you just suddenly get fervent like everything all of you enters into the prayer i don't know if you pray a lot like i said you can you understand what i'm saying but all of a sudden like you get so fervent all of you enters you start crying you start shaking that's basically how it works for me i started to cry i started to shake and the one thing that god told me in that moment and i remember some of this moment because there were certain things that he said to me that were very pivotal and what he said was i've put so much inside you stop playing small Whew! and immediately i heard it i started to cry like i was crying so much i i wrote it down and i just cried and cried and cried at the same time i didn't really get the context but i also knew that it applied whether i was off social media or not because I have a life outside of social media, right? There are other things that you have me do. And I know that I was very fond of um, downplaying my abilities. And another thing he told me was, when you downplay yourself, you're downplaying what I can do in you. Like, when you say, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I don't think it's for me. This is that. You're downplaying my abilities in your life. And it made me, it just, because it was so true, <laughs> it made me cry so much because I'm like, yes, God, I'm going to stop in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. And then, um, yeah, that day passed. Um, day three came and we had a four hour prayer stretch this time. This time it wasn't six, it was four. And um, that day, while we were praying, which one came first? I can't remember. Okay, that day, I think my pastor was praying and he raised a particular prayer point. And guys, like I said, if you really understand like spiritual things and prayer and all these things, there are sometimes that someone is talking and the person is talking to bless people, but there can be one line that they will say that you know that you know that you know that it's for you. Like, you just, it will just jump at you or when you are reading something and it's almost like that place becomes bolder, like, it becomes big and glary like it's for you you can just tell that it's for you i need to catch it so he was he was just declaring um different prayers and declaring over the church all of us and he said for every lost time of influence there is compensation and restoration and the way i caught it like it was so like i don't know <laughs> i can't explain it you guys but i caught it so quickly because i just knew it was for me right and i wrote it down and um i think we now had a final prayer day that was, that was the four prayer four hour prayer stretch and this was on the same day actually and um it was towards the end this one was actually towards the end maybe we are about we we're like 20 minutes away from the end of the prayer time and end of that session right and i was tired i was tired because i had not i didn't sleep for the last night i was tired i sat on my chair at this point it was about to enter like let me just stay here and kabash kabash small and let's go and while i was praying because like we are a lot of people praying together at the same time so what people do is sometimes someone can have a word for you or receive a word for you so they come to you and pray with you for a bit and tell you and also when you see someone that is already getting tired or weary you can just come hold their hand walk together with them and pray together with them hug them just so that you know basically everybody dispenses in that kind of meeting and then this girl was sitting behind me a funny thing guys i found her very recently like three days ago two days ago but um she was sitting behind me i was sitting down and she came she held my hand and she said she didn't say anything. She just held my hand and pulled me up, like to pray with me. And I just thought, oh, this babe, no, I'm already tired. I know I'm not. I like, I'm still praying. Like, just <laughs> you don't have to make me stand up again. But I was like, well, let me just pray with her. Maybe I'll even receive a word for her and stuff. Cause I was really tired, and um, cause I had not been trained to pray long for like that long. So it was really like taking a toll on me. I even like, and after we prayed for a bit, she said. God said I should tell you that he's going to double your influence in 2022. She now asked me, what do you do? 
are you a judo music like what do you do like in creative field and i said oh that um then i was even oh my god guys that was a bird it just flew towards the window <laughs> then i was I, I didn't really like saying i'm a content creator i'm a youtuber because i was offline so saying it did not make any sense to me so i was like oh yeah i do social media like youtube she's like okay that your influence and impact is going to double in 2022 and god wants me to remind you that everything he gives you that the gospel is your primary message guys see the way i'm spilling on my spilling on my distance to you guys <laughs> and she just told me that my influence was going to double in 2022 and i just felt okay and um we prayed for a bit i thought like thank you and then i bent over i remember it was this stage kind of situation because i was sitting in front and there was this stage where like media guys would array their their tripods and everything and i bent on that thing i cried oh my jesus and guys when i when i pray passionately i cry so it's not it's not it's not new so yeah after like the whole prayer sessions and the whole reboot camp more words and everything we went back home and i just kept thinking about them because now it was clear to me that in 2022 i was probably going to come back on social media and i was probably going to have more influence but at the same time i just thought it would be something far you know when you just think okay maybe towards the end of the year by then i would have grown so much blah 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 so in january we had another two week prayer and fasting and i think this was the defining moment of my year for me i mean we would camp was one but this fasting and prayer so many instructions came so many ideas even the ones i can't share with you guys right now so many ideas came in those two weeks and about the last day of the fast or the second to the last day or something that was the day god was like, god was like it's time to go back hey <laughs> and I, I kid you not the day i heard it i cried i was like Eh? because at that point i wasn't preparing to go back in time to, it was not like i was thinking about it but at the same time not thinking about it because there are certain things i thought i would have bought certain things i would have done before i come back it was like it's time to come back and i'm like oh boy and i was just not ready for the struggle because guys when i was on instagram the last time like throughout my content creation journey i had not experienced like fast growth i was not one of those people that is to blow up when it comes to numbers have amazing reach that was never me like i hit six thousand for the first time in june 2020 and let me tell you as i when i was leaving social media in 2021 i think i was just hitting that six thousand again because i hit it like five or six times if i'm not even like if not more because i hit the first time i hit 6k was in june 2020 and the thing just started going back down like i was just always struggling number wise i was struggling so much i struggled with comparisons so much in that year like i was always growing on instagram was a struggle for me it wasn't easy it wasn't easy so i did not know that ease that came with creating and everything so when it was time to go back i was like oh back to this like i was just tired right but god had given me some new ideas so i was like yeah sure let's do this and i came back in february i think february 3rd or 4th and we, in my mindset then, when I came back, I was on 5,700 and something. And my mindset then was, let me just get back to 6K. Because that's the kind of growth I knew. 100, 100 new followers in one month or two months, right? In fact, three months sometimes. Like, I didn't know, I didn't know anything more than that. So I was like, let me just push hard. I post every day and get to 6K in February. Guys guys at the end of february so much had already happened I had done a session I had gained over i think i was on 7k or 8k already if i'm if i'm guessing it wrong i will check my phone and just put it the correct thing here i think i got into 8k at the end of february or 7k something i'm not sure guys i'll be looking at my page and the numbers my page was doing and i'll be like hey now maybe this is like what is happening I'll, I'll be confused i'll look at the reach on my regular pictures i'll post regular pictures it will be doing over 200k in reach and i'm wondering what is happening like what what's happening here like i used to be so confused people would message me this was immediately i came back okay 
people would message me and be saying things like hi during i'm this and that from syria alone i'm this is i'm in ghana i just want to say that i'll be crying because i'm like you're in syria alone you're in ghana you know me like you you watch my stuff like you act that it's it used to blow my mind you guys i can never ever ever get used to it i was so so shocked like it was almost like god was like let me show you that when i speak a word it will come to pass that when i say it is time it is actually time because the way my instagram grew like from i basically doubled what i already had before because i'm on 10 10 point something k um in three months so i got to 10k in april that was february february march april and i was double what i came back with if that makes sense and every single time i saw it i would remember all the words and everything he told me back at the rebel camp all the words he gave me about the restoration of lost time of influence and compensation and how i was going to double it and i just get so humbled i'm just so humbled because I'm like, wow. I mean, I, why people, like I always say that, if you ask me that, okay, I mean, I know, I obviously know that I had to do work. In February and March, I posted almost every single day. So I was doing the work, right? But it is not by like that, because there have been times that I have posted every single day and I did not go like that. So I knew that it wasn't what I was doing. It was God. I knew it was God. It, it was too clear because it was happening fast. Like, I know that some people have grown faster and that's their business okay but for me this was this was a fulfillment of the word god has spoken and then i now joined twitter around march april i was getting the nudge to open my twitter account because i have a twitter account that's just like my private heart dump i just post things there that i don't really want anyone to see and if i want to take a screenshot i post on instagram that's what i use it for and um in april i was just getting the nudge to use your twitter like open it like and i didn't even think it was god or anything i was like let me just open it just i remember you follow me on instagram i posted on my page that oh i'm finally going to open twitter and i just posted a picture of how i always run from twitter but i'm back now i know i got like 100 followers that because i mean i already had a following on instagram and some people knew me on twitter but guys guys when i say that between april may and june I hit 3,000 followers this morning and sometimes I'm like what's happening because the way my tweets to be going viral and by viral I don't mean like 500,000 likes or something <laughs> but like for someone that has 1k when I was his 1k followers I was so confused that what what's happening like I remember someone even saying like all of my muchas on Twitter saying that during you casually post viral tweets like once in a week and I'm not joking guys that's how it was Things that I typically would say to my friends. Like, it's really just me sharing my honest thoughts. I don't think too much before I tweet certain things. It's not like I tweet anyhow. But, like, I don't think them too much. I don't think them too deeply. I just, I don't say it. And these are things I say in typical conversations. Things that I probably won't mention in this video randomly. And 1k likes, 2k likes, 3k likes, 4k. I'm like, what is happening? You guys, guys, see, I know that. By God's grace, I'm, um, I'm a pretty intelligent and wise person, and I'm, I can, I'm also quite creative. Thank God for that. But I also know when it is God that is blowing breeze on you, um, and doing his, doing PR for you, because there are certain things that I know I'm not working. Like I'm working, but I'm not struggling to do. And there's just this level of ease. And I'm not saying it's easy because guys, even with my Instagram, in the past months, I've gone through a lot mentally and I've been in a very bad space. And I was just pretty tired of it, right? <laughs> so I'm not saying that it's easy and all my problems are gone. But I just want to use this to encourage someone out there that if God has said anything, if there's any word that God has given you, trust me, there are many more words that God has given me that right now my situation looks nothing like them. But I always, one time I want to get discouraged, I just tell myself this story again i remind myself during was it not was it not the same god that when in 2021 back then when i was off i'll be crying that god everybody's moving on when i now come back i'll now have to pick up from when i left off and god legit sped up the process like and put me where i should have been like it's it's it busts my head it's so crazy right i just want to tell you that anything god has said about you 
take to the bank, right? Mm -hmm. It will come to pass. His words do not return to him void. If God has given you a word about any situation, I want to beg you, war with prophecy. Stay on that word. Pray it. Confess it. Because I know I did a lot of this. Pray with it. War with it. Even when your situation is not looking like it. It's something I'm doing and I just want to remind you that if, if there's anything God said to you about 2022, about your business, about this, trust him. Trust. See, he, the Lord, will make it happen. Trust him. Like, don't even try to figure out how. If God had told me that, because when the girl told me that my influence would double and everything, I was thinking, <laughs> how like I, I was trying to logicalize it and it made no sense to me because i didn't know how it was going to happen but that's not in your place to figure out okay when god in god's time god makes everything happen and trust me this is just the beginning because i know that god has said so many more things about me and even that prophecy it has not even seen its full fulfillment because there's so much more it's going to do in my life this is really just the tip of the iceberg but I just really wanted to encourage someone because I know a lot of people struggle with um, slow growth. Slow is very relative. But some people think, oh, I'm growing so slowly. Or if God says, leave something, do something else, you start feeling like oh, everybody's moving on, accept me, blah, blah, blah. Trust me. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust that word. Trust every single thing He has said about you because at the right time, he will make it happen and you'll be shocked by the outcome you'll be wondering what did i do like how is this happening right now okay and this is not to say like i said that it will be easy there's still work i know that on instagram i have to put in the work and create a lot of things like virtually almost every day i'm not even joking so i was consistent i wasn't just sitting down i waiting for prophecy to be fulfilled i waiting for it to come to pass there's always the human effort part right but if god has said it he will do it trust him all right so that's the end of this video i really hope this was encouraging to someone um i just really wanted to share this from the bottom of my heart and say that yeah don't be discouraged and i'm telling myself to so Dari, don't be discouraged everything god has said about you will come to pass you will see it and you will tell more stories like this uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye